Hello, welcome back to the Apocalypse. My name is Vormithrax, and this is episode number 34 in our Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead game. This is the prison escape scenario, and we're hanging out near our RV. We've been trying to get fixed up. Uh, we've done a few forays out into the city. Uh, last episode, we went and took care of a problem with a wandering uh, thief trying to steal my stuff. I didn't have to kill him myself. Some zombies managed to track him down and kill the person. Um, I just noticed as I loaded this game up, we've got another one wandering around. Right up here, we've got Rambunctious Rick. So, that's another one we're going to have to keep an eye on. But uh, for the moment, he's a little far away. i am got some other things we need to get done. So we're going to let him ramble around. We'll take care of him when we get back from this trip. Um, we need to get our food and water situation sorted out. It's starting to get critical. So we're going to make a trip down to our farmhouse and grab some of the stuff we left down there early in our playthrough. We haven't been back there in a while. And on our way back out, we're going to stop at the pond here and fill up a steel jerry can full of water. Um, we're just about out of drinking water or canned goods of any kind, really, so we need to get that taken care of. So uh, we're just going to do a quick trip down there, grab stuff out of our farmhouse, into our cart and our backpack, and then stop to grab some water and head on back up here. So hopefully we can get this done fairly quickly. Um, let's. I'm going to unload some of the stuff from my cart right here where I'm standing. Don't think I'll need the crossbow or the Glock. We'll take the Saiga just in case. We'll leave the rest of this stuff though. Um, I might need a cash card, and they don't weigh anything, so we'll keep that. I won't need the crowbar. I'm loath to leave that stuff behind. Jerry can's taking up a lot of space on its own, so that's why I'm kind of worried. All right, how much space do we have? We're at 31. 20 of that's the jerry can. I think we'll have enough space. I can throw on another backpack, and I can carry the jerry can in my arms to make even more space on the way back when it'll be pretty clear. So I think we're good. We'll just leave that stuff there, and let's get moving. So we need to get this done. Uh, we're going to... We'll angle over to the street to the right, and then just basically follow that all the way down, so... Uh, let's go ahead and turn safe mode on, and we'll fast move our way through until we spot something. A lot of corpses in that area. Alright, now we'll work our way over to this other street. And this one, I believe, is the one that goes south all the way to our farm. Yes, it is. And I think I'm actually going to just cut my way through the fence just south of me here. I don't really, There's no real need to worry about the integrity of this fence anymore. And we'll just head on through. There shouldn't be anything in this uh, field for the most part, so we should be pretty safe in here. That'll make this a pretty quick trip. Alright, there's the barn. Uh, we'll just go through over here where I've already got a hole in the fence. I do want to check out front real quick. I think I left some vehicles here, including a solar vehicle. Yeah, I've still got this solar car. It doesn't hold much. What's the status? It's up to 100% battery though, and it's got lots of parts that I'm going to love to throw on my RV. Upgraded solar panel, upgraded solar panel, upgraded solar panel. All of this stuff is going to get just slathered all over the roof of my uh, my RV. So I definitely don't want to forget this is down here, but I'm not going to grab it right now. It's also got the electric motor we're going to throw in the RV. That way, uh, if we do generate enough electricity, we can just run the RV off the electric motor instead of the gas motor. Um, so, tons and tons of really good things we're going to pull off of this thing, so we're just going to leave it here for now, though. Alright. What do we have down here? I've completely forgotten. There's a Firefighter PBA mask, nice and cleaned up. That uh, provides both two glare protection as well as you can use it in case of uh, smoke. So, let's... Uh, Put that to all. 
Reset that. All right, definitely grab that. Grab our CBMs. Uh, we got a little more stuff down here than I remembered having. Um, this might take a few trips, actually. And we've got this steel drum of water. <laughs> now I'm wishing I had a regular vehicle that I had brought down. I think I've got one somewhere. I forgot where I parked it, though, because I remember I left in a vehicle once. Where did I park that thing? I want to say it's up here, or I can't remember where I parked it. That's all right. We'll deal with it. A lot of the things I want to take are going to be fairly small, so we're definitely going to take the CBMs. All right. Now this pile. Um. Hmm. 46, 43 liters of stuff just in these piles right here. This is just our books and our gun stuff. That by itself is more than we can probably carry back. We'll think about that. What else do we got over here? And we got a quite a bit of stuff. Um, another project I really need to do is I need to get this cart upgraded from the basket, shopping cart basket, to a cargo space. That would uh, have five times the carrying capacity, so that would have made this trip a lot simpler. So we may hold off on grabbing everything. We'll just grab a few items for now, and then when I get that cart upgraded or bring a vehicle down, we'll get the rest of this stuff. Uh, so anything that I really think I need... Got some good books to learn from. Definitely grab anything. I'll just grab all the books. Really full already, huh? That's because we've got the uh, jerry can in there taking up so much space. Alright, let's drop in the fork spear. Grab out the jerry can. And we'll just wield it. All right, and that should let us grab the rest of this. Whoops. That's totally useless now, so we're not going to bother grabbing that. The rest of these can provide resources, or provide recipes. We'll grab those. Drugs. I don't care about a lot of this. I'm going to grab our first aid kits and the antibiotics. The rest of this can wait. We'll, we'll get it later. Um, I don't need any of this for now. Same with ammo. I think we're doing fine with ammo at the moment. We'll come back and scoop that up in a general run. Uh, I think I will grab the shotgun ammo, though. Same thing with the guns. We'll wait on that. So that's it for those piles. Alright, so that's our books, our guns, and our medicine. That is the steel drum of water, 277. Um, I could try to waddle back with that, but it's way too heavy. So that's going to be... probably need to bring a vehicle down. Okay, food and water. This is going to be somewhat important. Let's um, grab... I'm going to really hope I don't meet anything on the way back. Grab the leather backpack and wear it. So now we've got 21 space we can carry on ourself. And 16 in the cart still. Alright, so let's do it this way. Let's do that. And I'm just going to kind of scan down here. I'll wait on the cash cards. Large fire extinguisher is just there so we can pull the uh, jerry can out of it. But we'll do that later as well. Grab the tailor's kit. At least one of them. All right, not going to grab most of this food stuffs for now. Grab the water though.
USB drive with Hack Pro, yay! Alright, there's going to be a t big old pile of raw materials that probably will be useful, but again, we can probably hold off on. So let me check up here real quick. Alright, let's grab at least one washboard. More backpacks if I need them. Grab some detergent. Alright, I've got a lot of good stuff down here, but now that I know I've grabbed everything I... Oops, apparently I didn't grab my... or didn't put that in the right place. Alright, now that I've got the things that I know are most important, we can just start grabbing some stuff. So let's do it from... Actually, how much space do we have in there? 37 out of 50. I'd have to get that down. Um, just how heavy is this thing? 233 over by a good amount, but 277 water supply might be worth it. I think I'm going to try it. Just how depleting is that going to be? Pretty depleting, but I'm going to give it a try. We're going to try to make it back with this. We're going to leave the jerry can here for now. We'll make a trip back to grab it and some more stuff. Uh, while we're here, though, let's go ahead and eat and drink. Um, hmm. something to drink. We'll just drink our water. Alright. We're going to rest, get our stamina back, and then make the run. So it should be getting dark here pretty quick. That'll actually help us. Yeah, stamina zeroed out real fast. Alright, how quickly am I going to take damage? A little bit of pain. We can deal with it. It'll be worth it if we can make it back with this uh, steel drum. Alright, this isn't too bad. Just a small amount of pain. If anything finds us, though, we're going to have no stamina to fight with. That'll be the issue. Uh, where did I make my break? There it is. Alright, um, let's go across this way and up. Further, next road over is what we want to get to. It'll be awesome having 277 units of water available. Alright, now we can just go straight north and we should hit it eventually. If we don't run into any cars. And we're starting to strain our back. Pain's getting up there a bit. Now we're getting into that area where we killed all the stuff. We should be getting pretty close now. Yep, just north of us. There's the ambulance. And... There's our RV. Alright, it's a pretty quick trip, especially in the dark. Um, where do I want to put this? Let's put it... Up next to these. We'll drop it right here. Alright, so one of these is filled with diesel. That's 48 liters of diesel. One's empty, and then we've got steel drum, steel drum. Huh, this one weighs, this one's only 100 liters versus 200 liters for those others. But we got 277 units of water. Um, let's. I'm trying to remember, can I unload? Alright, 
So we got 60 liters of regular water in the tank. And now what I want to do is actually siphon. Never mind. Um, how to do this? Siphon, gasoline, pour into a container, steel drum. Alright, that pulled all the gas out. That's perfect. Alright, so now that I've got the gas out of there, come to the kitchen. Batch of clean water, 20. Um, well, let me store it there. Let's. Um, uh, I'm playing the shell game with different volumes of liquids. I'm trying to clean up oil the liquids in the RV, but it won't let me go from one tank to another. Um, don't think I've got another... Well, let's just do it this way. Uh, grab the cart, unload from the cart to the big pile of stuffs. Um, all of this random stuffs. Alright, keeping those. Unload the washboard, Taylor's kit. Keep the food, keep the medicine, all the books. Mods, CBMs, detergent, and the mask. And for my inventory, go ahead and just that. All right, so we got almost forty units available in the cart and twenty and seventeen available on my inventory. I'm going to make one more trip down, I think. like I should have a lot more water than just what's there from what I brought up in the jerry can. Maybe not, because if this is only holds 100 liters. Alright. Let's, um... Ooh. Yeah, let's make one more trip. We can make this quick, especially at night. this and wield it. And what's the most important stuff? Um, Thirty-seven liters. We can get almost all of this between the two amounts. Let's grab what we can. Oh, we actually got it all. Cool. And it's at 49 out of 50. All right, so that cleared all of that pile out. I can still grab some stuff in my personal inventory. Um, All of 
those things pulled for now. Don't care, don't care. Not in a hurry for. Like that's about it. We've got a bunch of good stuff. Um, don't think we have that much more down here. Uh, some of that's pretty bulky, but uh, doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and take off north. I'm going to fill this up with some more water while we're coming up this way. I think that will do it for this particular run. Line. Oops, there we go. as well. So that gets us 80 units of water, which is different than liters of water. <laughs> a steel jerry can has 20 liters, which is 80 servings or units of water. So that 60 liters that's inside the RV currently is uh, 240 drinks of water essentially. So it's a lot more than it seems like. Um, so that gives us lots and lots of water right here where we need it. We've got some diesel, some gas, water, water, and water inside the RV. So water should no longer be an issue for the foreseeable future. We'll have plenty to cook with, uh, to boil for drinking, and so on. So that'll be great. Um, I think what I'll do, though, is we'll unload the steel jerry can of water and pour it into the steel drum of water. That way the jerry can's free for me to do other things with. And inventory, let's um, drop to there. I'm just going to end up dumping. Well, no, there's some things I want to keep in here. Nah, let's just dump it all. I'm just going to end up sorting it all anyway. I'll just have to reacquire the stuff that I want to run around with, but uh, that'll be fine. I need to do a general inventory resort anyway, and I'll probably do some of that in between episodes, so, all right. Let's uh, do this real quick, though. Let's grab that and wield it. Let go of the cart. 
All right, so food, batch, clean water, can't see to craft. Let's do... Doing good on battery now. Let's do this. Um, that's going to attract a... Oh, shoot, that's the uh, spotlight. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to get some attention. Now I'm going to have to uh, deal with what I just turned on. Turn that off. I thought that was just going to be the lights in the aisles, which I'm not sure why they're not on right now. Maybe I have to turn the engine on for the aisle lights. Let's check. Now it still says it's very dark, so it's not that. Oh, it failed. Alright, let's try again here. Failed again. Huh, keeps failing. Oh, it's out of gas? Oh, I, I siphoned all the gas out. Alright, so that won't work. Uh, I've got a lamp, or a lantern I can use. That's probably simplest. Let's do that. Find lantern. Grab it. Alright, lantern's on. Let's do this again. Batch 20. And... Now I can fill the luxury RV? Sure. So I have to have some kind of container in my hand to trigger it to say, yep, you passed the check, you've got something to put it in, and then it actually looks at the vehicle. So now I can actually move the regular water and put it into the vehicle tank. So let's do that again. It's almost done. We'll do another batch of 20. And it's actually... Oh, that's right. It's going to take quite a bit of these to convert all of that. Alright, we're slowly getting it converted. When we're doing a batch of 20 water, that's only 5 at a time. That's 5 liters per. So it's going to take quite a few runs to actually convert all that. Um, I think we're going to not do all of it right now. <laughs> I'll just... Keep slowly converting this over. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop the jerry can again. Alright, so status-wise, we're doing pretty good. I am going to need to do a general sorting. I was wanting to hold off on it until I finished off the inventory runs. So I think what I'm going to do... This process isn't probably terribly interesting for most of you folks, so I'm going to do probably two more inventory runs down to the farm just to finish clearing it out. Um, so I'm going to run down there, just grab inventory, run down there, grab inventory. Go away. <laughs> um, so I'll do that a couple more times. I don't expect anything to happen that's going to be interesting, so I'll get all that done. I'm also going to relocate the solar vehicle up here. Um, so next episode, that's what will happen. All of this stuff will be up here. The solar vehicle will be parked nearby. And I'm going to sort all of this inventory out into a coherent pile. So we'll continue on from there at that point. So it'll take me a pretty good amount of time to do that. And I just don't think it's camera friendly or video friendly for most of that process. This far into the run, I think most of you have seen me doing that kind of inventory sorting quite enough times. So... Um, I'll do that off camera and that'll give us a good starting position to get into the more interesting stuff when we start up again. So we've still got that NPC up north. I still do need to get some more food. I'm thinking of going into the spider basement and uh, killing me some spiders. Get some spider meat and some spider eggs that I can powder so that we'll have uh, eggs we can cook up whenever we need to. Um, so that's my primary place to go first and we'll also be able to explore it for items. There's a chance of a rare spawned item in a basement spider basement so um, I think that'll be interesting I don't remember if I killed many of the spiders in there at this point I may have um, but I think I left a number and or some eggs that I can go get um, lots of other places to visit in town we've still got the FEMA camp and the mall to go check out we've got a dairy farm nearby big old town in Newberry so a lot of things on the list I want to get done uh, but now that we've got water up here, we'll finish getting our supplies up here, and we'll just turn this mobile, this RV, into our uh, 
place to stay, and I'll keep clearing the local area so we can sleep safely in it and finish getting it fixed up. But uh, once I get that solar car up here and we can get all those solar panels on it, we'll have a really good source of uh, passive energy uh, with all of the upgraded solar panels. But I've got to work on my skills before I start working on that kind of stuff. So I've got really low skills, and I'm not going to be trying to do anything with solar power until I get fabrication up pretty high, mechanics up, electronics up. Um, so all of that's going to be a priority. So we're just going to have some really big piles of raw materials that we're not going to really be able to use effectively yet. So that's the plan, and I hope you'll join me for it, and uh, see you in the next episode. As always, do hit the like, comment, and subscribe. It lets me know how I'm doing. Improves the channel metrics so we can get better viewing, and uh, helps me grow the channel. So that would be greatly appreciated if you do that. Feel free to also visit me on my other social media platforms. I'm doing a pretty good amount of Twitch streaming, and I put notices up here on YouTube when I do those. So I'm trying to do more of them, and I'm going to be switching up to some more games to add into the channel here pretty soon as well. So look forward to having you join me over there, and I hope to see you in the next apocalyptic episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.